Hello everyone, Edward Dabdub with Dabdub Law Firm here, a law firm that specializes in handling long-term disability insurance claims for clients everywhere in the country. I want to talk about Lyme disease and submitting disability insurance claims based on that condition. This, the symptoms that are associated with Lyme disease are typically subjective in nature, meaning they're difficult to prove. There is not really any objective measure. For example, profound fatigue. It's difficult to determine exactly how much fatigue is someone experiencing such that they cannot work. Cognitive impairments is also a symptom associated with Lyme disease. What does this mean? Well, it means that it creates an opportunity for the insurance company to target Lyme disease disability claims for denials. What can you do? Well, because these conditions come with symptoms that are subjective, you have to then present overwhelming evidence to push back. And that includes medical evidence and non-medical evidence. First, Non-medical evidence could include statements from friends and family that explain what you were like before falling ill compared to after. Medical evidence include things like a neuropsychological evaluation, which is a test administered by a neuropsychologist to determine the presence of cognitive impairments. We have also sent our clients for CPET testing to determine how much fatigue. Does that fatigue rise to a level that is in fact disabling? Putting it all together, you can get Lyme disease long-term disability claims approved. Our firm has been doing it for well over a decade. We are experts in this area and we've handled dozens of disability claims based on Lyme disease. Call us, let us explain to you how we can help with your claim.